J.M. Mannion here for the IFBB Pro League interview series powered by NPCNewsOnline.com. I am here with IFBB Pro League bodybuilder straight from Brazil. Rafael Brandão. <laughs> <laughs> and you see why I let him say it. <laughs> yeah. Thank yes. you for, for this opportunity. I'm yeah. very happy for here with you doing this interview yeah Thanks so much so, so how are things down there what i'm sorry how are things in brazil right now oh the same in the world you know some parts crazy with coronavirus and uh, some part in, of brazil uh start you know open again some some jeans some some uh, uh, business open again, but everything is is low, is low. Right. Yeah. Now, are you able to train in a gym right now, or what are you doing? Yeah, I'm training in the gym right now. Here, I, I live here in Curitiba right now, is south of Brazil, and here the gym is open. Oh, that's good. But, yeah, but. We need train with mask. There we oh. go. <laughs> uh, how how was training with mask? Is it difficult? Yeah, a little more difficult, but it's better than don't train. <laughs> right. Or yeah. no gym at all, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So now everybody knows that they've seen you were here in the United States earlier in the year. Mm -hmm. And you were training down with uh, Flex Lewis and you were at the, the Dragon's Lair and um, with Neil Hill and everybody. What, were, what was your original game plan? What was going to be your first contest this year before everything went kaput? Yeah, before everything, I, I went to Florida to train with Flex Lewis, with John De La Rosa in the Dragon's Lair. For my first show was Arnold Classic Brazil in April. Right. So when we was six weeks before the show, I had saved the information of the show has been canceled. So yeah, I was I was in my best shape before before Arnold canceled. And after that shows don't happen and I needed to come back to Brazil. You know, because my family, I, I, I want to stay with my family, with my some friends, works for my sponsor. So when everything is good again, everything is normal again, I go back to the Dragon's Lair to do my prep for my next show. Yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming at this point, are you are you going to try and do anything for this year's Olymp to get on this year's Olympia stage, or do you think you're just going to wait till 2021? Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm on prep right now, but okay, I'm on prep for California stage. In okay, five weeks. but oh good, I don't know if I can travel for US, you know, because the border is closed. So I don't know if I can uh, go to USA. But I, I'm on prep. If he, if I can go to USA, I I do California State. Right. Yeah. Well, here's hoping that you can make it out and you can get there. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with we had the uh, as I'm sure you saw we had the uh, all the announcements today from Tamer and Muscle Contest about all of the different shows. Yeah. Know, yeah. Yeah. Happening. So you know, letting people know that, you know, the show, the shows are going to happen. So that's, that's the good thing. Yeah. It's good things. Good. Tampa yeah. pro happened now four weeks in four weeks going to have New York pro. Yeah. Yes. And five weeks we're going to have California. California. State. Yeah. So I, ha I hope I can go to US and compete. Now, are, are you able to like go somewhere? Do you have to go like in quarantine somewhere for like 14 days? Is that it? Or what are no. the restrictions that you have? No, I don't have any extrusion for this. 
Brazil is, you know, I can fly in Brazil, but I don't know if I can fly to US, you know? Right. Yeah, it's, it's hard situation because I want to compete, you know, I want to right. show my my body, I want to show my improvement, but I don't know if I, I can do it. Right. Yeah, I remember seeing the pictures that they put up, uh, that you put up too, about what you look like, you know, before everything got uh, postponed and canceled. So and I know you were in really, really good shape back then. So yeah, I was in I was in my best shape ever. Yeah, shape. training with Flex Lewis and John De La Rosa is amazing for me. You know, the best opportunity for my life for my for my career because they don't joke him. He's right. every day is train hard every day, diet hard. So I improve a lot with this guy. Yeah. Well, how, how did that come about that you got invited to go there to train with them? Flex? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's funny because we talked just for Instagram before. Uh, I think is the first text for me, Flex Saint for me was, 2018, before um, I compete in, let me remember, um, Toronto Pro. Okay, yeah. Or Toronto Pro. And he, he see me in Toronto Pro on stage. And after that, we start texting on Instagram. And he invited me for do my prep in, in Florida, in, in the Dragon's Lair. I'm in three weeks be after I go to <laughs> Florida. So yeah, was you know is was the best opportunity for me because can you imagine you train with Flex Lewis seven times, Mr. Olympia, with right. John De La Rosa, with uh, Neil. So the best of the best. So right, was the best opportunity for me. Yeah, I mean that had to be that had to be uh, quite thrilling for you to be able to be there with those guys every single day and, and yes. with them. In in Dragon's Lair, I learn every day. Every day I learn something from diet, from you know career, from I know every day, every day in Dragon's Lair I learn something with Flex, with John, with Neil. So uh, is the best time in my life yeah. was to be with these guys. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Now, if you are able to get out and you go, then you come here to the United States and you do qualify for the Olympia, will you go back to the Dragon's Lair to compete, to train? For yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. If I am if I'm able to go and compete and take my... Uh, my I'm gonna say qualification for Olympia. I go back to Dragon's Lair and train hard every fucking day with the with yeah. form with guys. Yeah, it's gonna be that's gonna be quite quite an Olympia too. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, yeah, and I, I know I was scheduled to come down and cover the Arnold Brazil that you were gonna do also. Because then, remember, it was two weeks before Pittsburgh. Then it became the week before Pittsburgh. And, uh, yeah, I was quite disappointed that everything got uh, canceled as well. Yeah, yeah. So, when, but, uh, you know. So another question I want to ask you is to give some people some idea. When did you start lifting weights? Were you doing sports when you were younger? Did you get into weight training that way? Yeah, when I was young. I practiced everything, basketball, volleyball, football. Uh, I drive. Now, football football is soccer, right? Yeah, soccer, soccer. Yeah. Yeah. But I, see, I get that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, soccer, I'm sorry. And I practiced motocross, I practiced kart, I practiced every, every sport. But when I was 14 years old, I, I was really, really thin. You know, like, I don't know, 120 pounds. Wow. 100, yeah, 140 pounds 
or less, you know? Yeah. Where, like that. So when I, 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 when I see the gene the first time, when I train, I, I, I see like, oh my gosh, this is, this is for me, you know? I love that. So I start training, training, but I don't know nothing about diet, you know? I don't know nothing about bodybuilding. I just start lifting weight and loving it. Yeah. You know? So after that, I never stopped training. When I was 19 years old, I met bodybuilding first time. Okay. Yeah. When I meet bodybuilding the first time, I see like, this is, you know, like, this is for me. Right. This is my sport. This is what I want to do, you know? I start to see guys like uh, Jay, Flex, Phil, you know? I see, look at this guy. Look at this, you know? Yeah. So I need this. I want to do this. So I started bodybuilding when I was 19 years old. My first championship was when when I was 20 years old. Yeah, it's, you know, when I see bodybuilding first time, I, I, I think this is for me. This is my yeah. life, you know, it's crazy. And tell everybody how old you are now. Now I am 27 years old, 27 years old. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, what are some of the highlights? Some of uh, ones from the first time you competed until your last competition that happened in between. Something, maybe a contest you won that was very exciting for you, or you know, you've met certain other uh, competitors or people. You know. Yeah, when I start, so when I start in bodybuilding, I start in junior, junior category. When when I was 20 years old. From 20 years old until 23 years old, I never lose any shows. I start in, won my first show, won my second show, won my third show, until I'm turned pro. When I was 23, uh, 20, 23 years old, I was junior bodybuilding, but I think I can go to senior bodybuilding. You know, I can right. do it. I can do it. So I compete in national in Brazil in 2016. And, the, and I won junior category, overall junior, senior category, and overall senior. Oh, nice. So I, I, was, the, I was the first guy to do it in Brazil. Wow. Yes, and after that, after the show, I turned pro. And I start my career in, in professional. So it was very, very good. Yeah, wow, that's, that's great. That I didn't realize you were the, na you're the national champion and that's how you got to turn pro. That's, and plus, like you said, you won the junior category, then you won the open. Yes. All, all in the same weekend, that's great. Same weekend. I come back to my house with four, four trophies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Was the, the best year for me was 2016. Because after that, I went to South America Championship. And I turned pro in South America Championship. Okay. Yeah, I turned pro. I was 23 years old. I was junior bodybuilder, but I competed in open category and turned pro. So you won, you won the Brazil national championships, then you won the South American championships. Yes. Oh, wow, that, that's even better. I won I Brazil. I didn't realize that. I won national Brazil three times and three times South America. Okay. Yeah, great. Yes, yes. Now, what was your first uh, professional contest that you went into? My first professional contest was Samarino Pro, 2017. Okay. I, I was working with Patrick Tour. I placed the eight, eight, 
and then in, uh, in San Marino. Yeah, in San Marino. Yeah, and I was there for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I remember. We yeah. had we had a big lineup. Yeah. Cedric McMillan, Head Chopin. Yeah. Bring Curry. Yeah. yeah. That was a great, great contest. I didn't realize that was your first pro contest because that's where we actually, that's the first time that we had met was there. Yeah. 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 Great. So, yeah, that was, that was, that was a, that was a crazy contest. Yes. When I see, I think it was 40, 38 guys. On stage. Yeah. It was yeah. It was guys. huge. It was definitely it's huge. huge. So. Yeah. I was very happy because I placed the eight. So my first contest, you know. Right. I, I was looking like, I don't know, 200, 220 pounds. Like that on stage. <laughs> 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 With the big guys, Cedric McMillan, Had Chopin. I, was, yeah. I went for the first call out. It was great. It was great for me. Now, when you were backstage and, and you're looking around at all of these guys that you've looked up to and all of a sudden you're right there with them, what was going through your mind? Oh, man, it was crazy, you know? <laughs> I, I thought like, okay, I'm here. I I know, I work hard for this this time, you know? I just, yeah. enjoy, I just enjoy on stage because we working hard like four months, five months for the contest. So when I go to, to on stage, I think like, okay, enjoy this time. It's your time. Right. You know? Enjoy and be happy because you work for this, you know? So yeah. I, was, I was very, very happy in my first contest. Yeah. So what was your next contest after San Marino? After San Marino, I start work with Chris Aceto. Okay. In 2008, I went to New York Pro. I went to New York, to New York Pro and I placed in sixth, sixth, sixth place. And after that, I went to California stage. A week after. Right. Week after, yeah. And the week after, I went to Toronto Pro. Right. Was crazy year for me because I I I did four shows in one month. Right. Weekend, weekend. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, they and they were all back to back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Traveling, you know. Yeah. Was crazy, but I, I like it because. I work for this, you know, so I traveling like very happy. Oh, are you traveling for Canada? Are you traveling for, you know? Yeah. So it was great, great year for me. Yeah. After, after this year, I, start, I started my off season and come back in 2019 in Energy Classic, Ohio, Columbus. The end was crazy. The best, the best stage that I see in my life, you know. Right. The organization is how guy, how guys is crazy, massive, you know. Orlando, right. uh, William Bonnick, how guys on stage, and on stage I think like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you 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 are here, so enjoy this. Right. Oh, well, that's great for me too. That's really great. Now let let's talk about the Arnold Brazil. You and Juan. I mean, you two were neck and neck the entire contest. Yeah. You know, how did you feel about that contest? Man, Arnold Brazil for me was one of the best. You know, because I went I I, I went to Arnold Brazil just for. Uh, see the show three years before three years before when Kai Green come to Brazil and and the year after and Big Ham come to Brazil and I never see 
people crazy like Energy Classic Brazil right. 2019 was like crew like soccer on um, you know yeah was... I know that crowd I, I tried to explain to people uh, there were people in the back of the auditorium sitting on other people's shoulders remember that yes, yes. yeah yeah it was I mean you I turned around at one point I just was like I there's thousands of people just wow. in there and it and it was loud too remember yeah I remember it was you know for me it was really really amazing because I see how bodybuilding growing in Brazil you know because years before I never see crew like that and when I see these I think like look what your job doing for bodybuilding you know bodybuilding really growing in Brazil so yeah, you I, had a lot of fans there screaming your name yeah have on before I come to on stage I listen like run down run down was like yeah crazy. yeah uh, and do you remember when uh, Steve Weinberger just called you and Juan out to compare against each other and Arnold came up on the stage and he was pounding the stage telling you guys to pose? I mean, that had to be pretty surreal, right? Yes. That's, you know, I, I can't, I, I have no words to say what I feel, you know, what I felt on stage because when I see Arnold filming, you know, when I see the crew, you know, talking and and burn down, it was, you know, really amazing for me. Yeah, for, for me, I, I, I would equate that to one of your, uh, one of the, uh, fo being like in one of your football stadiums for a game, the way they were streaming. I mean, I've, I i can not tell you, I don't know how, how many times I've ever heard anything any louder at a bodybuilding contest in the, than that particular contest. I mean, I've, Olympias and stuff, and there's been loud parts, but it was constant. All as, as like you said, even before you came on stage, and then when you left the stage, they were still screaming your name. You yeah, know? was crazy. Was crazy. Yeah, I, I was very anxious for 2020 Arnold Classic because Dexter Dexter coming. You know, right. I think it was the best can be the best show in Brazil, 2020. Right. But next year, we're going to make history. Yes. Let's go Brazil again. Yeah. And work for this. Yes. So now that you're back home, besides training, what else do you do during the day? Oh, I have some business here in Brazil. I have my company of clothes. I have another thing that... What's I, your clothing company called? Called Brando. Okay. Yeah, it's my name. Oh, that, that's easy. <laughs> and I work with YouTube too, doing a lot of videos. I work with um, another sponsors. So I have a lot of work to do right now when I when I... When I start my prep, I stop everything, you know? Right. So now I'm on prep, but I don't know 100% if I can go right. through. So I, I, I'm I on my prep, but I'm still doing some things, you know? Right. So, some jobs. After, right. Uh, with body beauty, you know? Right. Yeah, I, I start I start recording my documentary, you know. Right. I bring my my history for this documentary, so it's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I it's love good. It. It's good to stay busy during this time. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So, how excited were you when your wife Karen finally got her dream? to step on an uh, NPC Worldwide stage, wellness stage, and qualify in her first contest to be an IFBB pro like you? And I, I have no words to say 
what I felt, you know, because it's like a dream. You know, Karen is, Karen is everything for me because she lives everything that I live, you know. We're doing diet together, we're doing cardio together, we train together, we do our business together. So we live the same life, you know. Yeah. So when we on Stern Pro, I see in her eyes like, this is my time too. We're gonna have our time together on stage. Yeah. We're gonna represent the bodybuilding like family, you know? Because what couple on stage is like people see this and see in in talk, oh look at that, you know. Yeah. In Brazil is like that. So we we doing we do a lot of work in Brazil together, like videos, show for the people what is bodybuilding really, right. what is really bodybuilding, you know? Right, because right. Some people think bodybuilding is just muscle, just food. No, bodybuilding is more than this, you know? It's, it's life, it's family, you know? Me and Karen together can show for the people this side of bodybuilding, you know? Right. So I'm very, very happy for next year, Karen can go to Olympia stage. Right. So are you the only married couple that are both IFBB pros in Brazil? Mm, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Now, I was, as we're talking, I started thinking, and I'm thinking, you know, I know a lot of the who the pros are down there, both the the men and the women, and I think you you were I, unless there's somebody else, I can't think of anybody else that uh, husband and wife are both IFBB pros in Brazil. Yeah, I don't know too. I think so. I think just me and Carrie. Yeah, that's great. That's history. Yeah, it's history. It's history. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's great. I'm like I said. I just started thinking about this as you were talking. I'm like, no, 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 no. Those people know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, there's some that that are dating, but you two are actually married. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dating is different, but right. It's it's so, great. It's yeah. Great. Well, great. listen. I'm gonna say congratulations right now because that is history. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> and how long have you two been married? What? I'm sorry. How long have you two been married? We've been married uh, since 2015. Five years. Oh, great. I married with Karen when I was 22 years old. So this just goes to show that you can have a healthy lifestyle and both be competitors and still have a successful marriage. Yes, yes. You know, you know why? Because we live the same life every day. So caring lived my dream, and I live caring's dream. Yeah. You know? so it's different because some days you wake up like, oh, I'm not good today, you know? And Karen, no, you is good today. You right. Need to you need, you need to do your work, you know, because I want to see you doing your work for do my work. Yeah. In some days, it's carrying, wake up like, oh, I don't know today. No, you're going to do your work today, you know? Right. So this is, this is very great. This is yeah. Very good. That is, that is great. That is. Yeah. Great. Wow. I'm, I'm just so happy I figured this out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, all right. So, um, is there anybody that you want to give uh, thanks to, a shout out to, sponsors, other training people, whatever? Yeah, I, I want to thank my sponsor. Né? My sponsor, Darkness Integral Magical. They have, they give me all support to do what I do. Karen, Karen is my, you know, is my half part. Right. Karen is amazing because she 
she's here with me every day. She's work with me every day. So my family too, because they give me all support too. And all my fans from Brazil, because they are the best. You know, they are the right. best. Fans. And Tarek, Tamer, you, uh, you guys for putting, you know, NPC in Brazil, because now people can know what is bodybuilding. Right. You know, what the bodybuilding can do with the lives, you know? Right. Because now people can turn pro in Brazil. This is, you know, five years ago, three years ago, for, for I turn pro, I need to compete Brazil, South America three times, you know? Right. You Not know, just one time, it's three times. So now people can compete and turn pro. Right. And make the career, you know? It's awesome. So thank you. Thank you, JM, for doing your working, putting a lot of information on the internet, you know, Tarek Tamer, Mr. Jim Manuel for do, you know, the NPT. Yes. But, you know, so yeah, that's it, man. Thank you. Th thank you too, my man, Flex Lewis and John De La Rosa, because these guys was, I, I have no word to say because you know, they give me the best opportunity of my life, you know. Right. They don't know me before, you know, just for internet, just for Instagram. And right. they give me the opportunity for stay together. And I learn, learn every day with this guy. And now they are my family in the US too, you know. So, yeah, I mean, that's it. Thank you for this opportunity, you know, doing this interview with you. I'm sorry for my English. Oh, your English is fine. Trust me. Trust me. It's good. It's good. I'm going to be better and better and better. <laughs> yes. Well, listen, I have one other question. I have to a lot of uh, men Brazilian competitors, and they all tell me that the gyms in Brazil don't have very good back machines. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what is that? That's true, man. That's true. Yeah. You know why? Because it's, for example, um, Arsenal x -trains. You know Arsenal? Yes. Hammer x -trains. is the best machines and very, very expensive to bring to Brazil. Okay. So the most the most gym in Brazil uh, works with national equipment. You know, you know what I mean? Yes. So, don't have some jeans. Today, my gym have good machines for back, but our jeans in Brazil don't have. Don't have. That is crazy. It's crazy. crazy. It's crazy. Well, how did you build your back living down there? <laughs> Man, I I built my back with Flex and Joe in okay. nine months. Because before that my back was like not too no not too good, you know. Right. But now now after my my season with Flex and John. I can come back to Brazil with more, how can I say, connection, you know, with my back. Right. And I can train much, much better without the best machines, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, but so, this is true. This is true. Well, here's hoping you can get back to America just to train on the back machines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Dragon's Lair is that, Dragon's Lair is the best place. Yeah, but it, it, I I I kept hearing that, and everybody kept telling me. You know, I even had the some of the Brazilian women tell me, "Oh yeah, back machines down here in Brazil. It's very difficult to train back." Very difficult. It's very yeah. difficult. We're gonna try now bring the 
some equipment for, for Brazil, you know, because I see how important it is, you know. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's that, that, is, that is quite crazy when you think about that. When you come to Brazil, I take you for the jeans and you're going to see, you're going to see okay. the jeans and the <laughs> <back> machines. <laughs> So we'll go for a back workout. We'll do one exercise and we'll be done, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, it's crazy. So, well, great. Well, uh, I'm gonna wind up here. If there's anything else you wanna tell anybody or you know say, you know, feel free to just shout it out right now. Uh, just thank you guys for everything, you know, for our support and for you know, bring the bodybuilding for Brazil, the really bodybuilding for Brazil. And I'm very grateful for, the, for this. And for everybody that wanna see bodybuilding, just think you can do it. You can do, it's hard. It's not easy, it's not easy work, it's right. hard work. But if you wanna do this, you can do this. Right. You know, I Because I come from, from humble family, you know? I come from zero, man, from zero. But I believe in myself, you know? I believe in myself and I do everything that I can do. And now I, you know, I go to US, compete, representing my country, you know? Yes. This is amazing. So if you wanna do, something first you you need believe that you know if you believe that you can do it you know so and thank you so much for for this opportunity man thanks so much yeah i think i, I think that's the perfect way to to wind this up so uh, i want to say thank you for doing this and you know i'm looking forward to seeing you here back here in america i hope it i hope yes. i can Awesome. Yes, absolutely. So, all right, everybody. This is Jay and Mannion for the IFBB Pro League interview series powered by NPCNewsOnline.com. Signing off with Rafael Brandon. <laughs> all right. And we're out of here. Thanks a lot, everybody.